Hello everyone, in this video we are going to develop this favorite places app. As you can see, now we don't have any places added yet. So if you click on this add icon button, you will see that we can add a new place. Let's say London. And if you click on add place, you can see we have the London. We can add more places like Paris. Or we can also add a Seoul. Let's say Seoul. And add a place. Now we can also tap each place for example let's say click on Seoul you can see some detail now if we go back you can also see the Paris so we are going to use the state management tool Riverboat so for this app so this is going to be a really really helpful app because you are going to pra practice the most used Flutter widgets and also state management tool called Riverboat so without wasting time let's get started and create this app so guys, this is where we are going to get started. I'm inside my main dot dart and you can see we have a blank scaffold inside a material app widget. So first we are going to create a model. So for that, I'm going to go to lib folder and create a new folder called this models. And here let's create a place dot dart. And here we can create a class place and inside we need two things. First is final string ID. And we also need final string title. And after that, we need to create a constructor place. And here we need to require this dot title. And for the ID, I would like to generate a unique identifier. So for that, I'm going to use one package called UUID. So I'm going to open my terminal. And here simply add flutter pop at UUID, which stands for our universally unique identifier. And this package helps us to generate the unique ID. So here I'm going to simply add this. Before this class, we need to actually create this UUID, UUID, and UUID. And after that, here we need to add an ID equals to this UUID. And we need to use the v4 version. And if you hover that, you will get more information about what's UU4 UUID, which generates a ring version of 4 UUID. So I'm going to put a semicolon. And after that, we are ready. Our model is ready, so we can move on. So once we are done with our model, we can go back to lib folder and create another folder and we can call this screens. And inside this screens folder, we can create a new file. And the first one we need a places.dart. Basically, this is going to be a places screen, places screen. And here we can create a simple scaffold as usual scaffold inside we need to have a bar a bar and for the title we can say text let's say your places and i'm gonna save it and after the title we also need to create actions for icon button so we usually have a one icon button and it's going to be a add icon button so icon icons dot add and let me put some comma here and if I add you will not see it because inside a main dot dart we need to actually instead of scaffold we need to import this class which is places screen and if I save it now you will see it right so I also want to put this title to the left side for this you can achieve by going to places dot dart and here inside the app bar you can use something called center title and you can make this false. So it will put this title to the left side. So after that, we can create some places list. So inside a, not inside a script, we can create a new folder and we can call this widgets. Inside of widgets, we can create places list dot dart since it's not a screen i'm creating a separate 
file called widgets and I'm creating a separate file places list.dart. This is not going to be a screen. So this is going to be places places list. And it's usually it's going to basically return, you know, it's going to return, for example, if the places is empty, we want to show, we want to display some message. So for that, we need to actually import our model. So it's going to be a final list. And this is going to be a place model that we created. And we are going to call this places. And this is going to be a required this dot places, right? And here we need to import our model. And inside a return, we basically need to remove return now. First, we want to write some condition. For example, if places is empty, then we want to display some message. So we will return center widget. Inside, we need to create a child text and let's say no places added yet. And I'm going to save this, but we also need to return this build. As you can see, it's now complaining us. So we need to return list view, view dot builder. And for the item builder, we can use CTX and index. And inside that, we need to return actually the list tile. So inside a list tile, we basically need to create a title. And for the title, we can create a text. It's going to be places index dot title. Okay. So we will put a semicolon here to remove these warnings. And you can also put comma to format your code. Also, we need to add an item count places dot length. Otherwise, you will get an error. Now, inside a places, places screen, uh, after app bar, we need to create a body. And here we need to import this places list. Otherwise, you will not see it. And for default, now we can make this places blank. And later we will work on this logic. But now just make it blank list. And if I now save it, you see that we have no places added yet. So once we add more places, you will see it here. I also want to give some background color and some color to this scaffold. So inside a scaffold, inside a places screen, inside a scaffold, let's give background color, colors dot deep purple. Let me copy this and put it inside the app bar as well. Now to differentiate the app bar and scaffold, we are going to change the scaffold color. So it's going to be deep purple dot shade 200. And now I think you see it's now better. And now we want to change this text and icon color to white. So for that, inside the app bar, after background color, you can use foreground color, colors dot white. Okay. If I save it now, I think it looks much better. Now we are going to work on this icon button. Now let's go and work on this add icon button. So for that, let's go to live folder and inside we have a screens folder. Inside a screens folder, let's create a new file and call this add places at place.dart. And let's create a state full widget and let's call this class place at place screen. And basically we need to return column. We need to first return scaffold. Inside of we need to create an app bar. App bar and for the title we create a text. And let's call this add new place. And after app bar we also need to create a body. For the body let's create a column and children. And first we need to have the text field. And also we'll need to have button and it's going to be elevated button. So I'm going to make this button blank for now. And let's create a text for the child. And let's call this like add place. And if I save it and also put a comma to format the code. And now if we go to places screen, 
places screen we have the add icon button so here we need to add some logic so basically in order to go to the add places screens we need to use navigator so inside the actions let me put here the comma so inside this add icon button unpressed i'm gonna use navigator dot off context dot push material page route and here for the builder we can simply use context and here we are going to add this add places screen add place screen also don't for, don't forget to put semicolon at the end and if i save it now and put comma and if i restart the app and if i click on this add icon button you can see we have a new page at new place if i come back you can see we are in the home page and if i click again this add icon button you see we have add new place now we can go to add place and work on this page you can see it, it, it looks very ugly now so first of all i'm going to change the scaffold color like background color colors dot deep purple dot shade 200 and for the app bar background color colors dot deep purple and for the foreground color colors dot white if i save it now i think it looks much better and also like we did we need to put this title to the left side so inside the app bar you can use center title false and if i save it now i think it looks much better now we can go to column so inside a column we can wrap this column with padding widget and we can use symmetric symmetric and for the horizontal let's say 10 or let's say 12 and you can see we have some space to the horizontal side and also you can put some vertical like four maybe and i think it, it looks much better now now let's go to text field and use some decoration input decoration and here we need to we need to actually wrap this text field with with another widget and i want to use cart widget to make it look much better so now if i save it you will see that it's a cart widget so we need to remove this bottom line so for that inside a text field inside a decoration input decoration we have enabled border and we will use outline input border widget so here we have border side i'm gonna say border side dot none and also i'm going to copy this enabled border and paste it and i'm gonna here change it to focus it border so basically the enabled border is just by default and focus border is when you click on this text field so i'm going to restart the app and if i click on add icon button you see now we have some card text fields you can see it looks much better now i also want to add some hint text inside that so inside a decoration you can add a hint text and for the text you can say for example title save it and now you can see we have a hint text if you type it here it will disappear basically but if you don't type it it will give some hint title and also i want to add a some icon before this hint text so for that you can use before this hint text let's use prefix icon icon icons dot so i think it was a location location on icon yeah this one but it's we are going to use the outline it and here you can change the size based on your preferences you can also change the color let's use colors dot deep purple and i think it looks much better now also we can change this vertical to eight to make it some space in the top and let's make this 12 and i think it it looks much better now also this now we can go and decorate this elevated button so i'm gonna add an icon 
after this elevated button and here I'm going to change this add place to the label because this elevated dot icon doesn't support the child so also I'm going to use icon icon icons dot add if I save it now you see we have icon button inside the elevated button so also I want to put this icon button to the right side uh, it's 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 actually your preference. If you want, you can put it in at the at the center. Or if you want, you can put it in the in the end. So basically, inside a column, if you use cross axis alignment, cross axis alignment dot stretch, it will stretch all the way here. If I save it, you can see it's stretching now. So this is also one uh, way. But you can also use like start. You can see it will put in the start. You can put like center. If I save it, it's in the center. You can also put it in the end like this, right? Now let's let's just remove this and put the default like the center. I think it looks much better. But the only thing we need to add some space between this text field. So we can use sized box, height maybe 10 and it will have some space as you can see add place so if i go back to the our places screen we don't have any places added yet so if i click on add icon button you can see we have add new place so we can add a new place and add place also we need to add some controller to control the text field so inside a state i'm gonna create a final title controller and it's going to be a text editing controller and inside this text field we can use controller and let's add this title controller so we have to remove this const and we can use title controller now save it and also we need to dispose this title controller so basically we need to add a, this this title controller dot dispose those dispose and I think we are done with the add new places screen so now we can work on this logic now we have to work on this add new place logic so when we enter the title and add a place it should add this place inside these favorite places so in order to work this logic we need to have some state management tool of course we can also simply use set state but it's not gonna be a best practice so for this I'm gonna use a river pod the state management tool so there is a river pod package so I'm gonna open my terminal and here simply add flutter pop add flutter river pod you have to also add a underscore river pod and this will install this flutter river pod package once it installs this package we can close this terminal and open a lib folder and inside this lib folder we can create a new folder let's call this providers and here let's create a new file and let's call this user places dot dart and here we need to create this provider class so we can create a class let's call this user places notifier and it's going to extend this state notifier and this state for notifier basically includes list place the model that we created and inside this we have to first import this place model and after that inside this user places notifier we actually need to create the constructor like user places notifier and we also need to add a super and by default we need to have the empty list right and after that we actually create a method function which adds the new place so wait at place it's going to be string title and inside this add place we need to create a new object 
new place and we are going to add this place title title and also we also need to add the state right state like we need to have the new place and also we need to use spread operator state after we add this function add place we also need to create the provider user places provider so final user places provider and we need to use the state notify provider and here we need to add this user places notifier user places notifier and also we need to specify the list our model the place and inside that we have to also add the ref and it's going to ref this user places notifier okay so i'm gonna put a comma so after user places notifier of course you need to have some comma list places and here we need to also have some space and here we also need to add a semicolon and also we need to we need to first actually now we need to create this user places provider so final Now we also need to after we add this add place function now after adding this add place function we also need to provide the user places provider so after uh, outside this user places notifier class we need to create a final user places provider and we need to add this state notifier provider and this will basically includes this user places notifier and also we need to specify list place the model and also after that we need to also specify the ref okay so it's going to be inside this parenthesis ref and here we need to add this user places notifier okay so if I now save it, put a semicolon and save it, you can see that we are creating user places provider object and we are specifying state notifier, specifically user places notifier with a list place. And here we are using this ref, which is provided by the river port, and we are using this user places notifier. So now we can close these user places and now we can go to add places add place screen and here first of all we need to change the stateful widget to consumer stateful widget and also we have to change this state to consumer state here also consumer state and after that we need to create a new method after this title controller we can create a new method and it's going to be save place and inside that we need to actually create a new object and turret title and we can import this title controller title controller dot text so we have to write some logic here so if enter it title is empty then we have to return empty thing because otherwise if you add without entering anything for example without entering any title if you add place it might add the blank uh, you know the blank card with a blank text you know and it's not a best practice so that's why we are writing this logic enter if the entry title is empty then we don't return you know anything so now after that uh after this if logic we have to provide we have to use this ref which is provided by riverpod ref read we have to watch the listen we have to listen the you know the the changes so user places provider dot notifier then also we have to add a place 
which is our function here that we created. If I press this, you can see this is the add place function that we created inside the user places. So here we simply add this entry title. And after that, we also need to get out of this window, this screen. So we can use navigator dot of context dot pop. So you already know this. Now we can simply copy this safe place and inside this elevated button, we can put it here. Okay. Now we also need to read the data inside the places screen. So I have to go to now places screen. And inside that, we also need to change the stateless widgets to consumer widget, which is provided by Riverport. It's a stateless widget. And after that, inside a build, we need to actually create a final user places. And it's going to be ref.watch. And it's going to be ref.watch. It's going to be, um, let's remove this subject block. And here inside this watch, we have to provide user places provider. Okay. And also inside this build context, we need to provide widget ref, which is provided by Riverpod, and we can create a ref. So ref.context.watch. So we can remove this context, ref.watch user places provider. Now we can simply copy these user places and we can put it, we can put it inside these places, remove this empty list and put it here. And also we have to remove this const. Now if I restart the app and let's restart the app again. Yeah, it's saying that no provider scope. We have I have already forgot this. You have to go to main.dart and here you actually need to wrap this my app actually with the widget and you can use provider scope and if i save it and if i now restart the app it will work because this provider scope is provided by riverpod so in order to work our logic this user places notifier and everything we need to actually provide this widget provider scope so now if we go to add icon button and if we add a new title for example let's say london and if you click on add place you can see we have a london if you click on add icon button and add soul for example you can see add soul right you can also decorate you can also give some decoration some style for this your places so inside the place user inside a places list we have this list view dot builder so we can wrap this list tile with widget call it card and you can see we have this kind of beautiful card so we can also add a padding or let's say margin margin edge insets dot not all but symmetric for the horizontal let's say 12 and for the vertical we can say like eight maybe and I think it looks much better now. And also, we can also add some, you know, like the icon, well, icon prefix icon that we added earlier inside a text field. So inside a list tile, you can use leading icon icons dot location on outline it, and the color is colors dot the purple. Okay. If I save it now, I think it looks much better. Also, I want to add some icon button here as well, since it's going, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be tappable, right? If we click on this Seoul or London, each place we need to have some details, right? So for that, I'm gonna put some. Um, there is actually trailing inside a list style, so we can use icon icons dot. I think it's arrow. I think it's arrow forward and if i save it now you can see this kind of arrow arrow forward icon 
we can also change the color colors dot deep purple i think now it looks much better so in the next thing we have to do is that we have to make this list tile tappable so if we tap this each city we want to have some details so now we have added the river port so now you can go and add a new title let's say paris and at a place you can see the paris here now let's go and add on tab for each place for example for each list tile we want to add the on tab so for that we have to create a new screen so inside a live folder inside the screens i'm going to create a new file and i'm gonna call this places detail dot dart and here i'm gonna create a new stateless widget stateless widget and it's going to be places detail screen and here we can simply return a scaffold and we have the app bar app bar widget for the title we have to create a text and i want to display the place title so for that we have to return we have to create this place place object we have to import it our model and here simply required this dot place and here we can say place simply place dot title right and after that we also need to have some body it's going to be super simple center child and for the text same place dot title but you can if you want you can add more descriptions like you know based on your preferences but i want to make it really simple so after that we can also add you know some background color like we did background color colors dot deep purple dot shade 200 and also for the app bar background color colors dot deep purple and for the foreground color colors dot white of course and now we have to go back to the your places so places your places where is that places screen and here inside that i think it's a places list not places so inside a places list we have the list tile so list tile has an argument or property called on tab so inside this on tab i want to use the navigator 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 dot of context dot push so i'm going to push so basically i'm going to so basically i'm going to push material page route inside a builder we can simply use So we can simply use the context here ctx and here i want to add these places places detail screen and as you can see it requires places so let me put some comma to format our code so here is for the places we need to use actually the places and index so now if i put the comma and save it and if i restart the old app this data will disappear but if i now go and create a new data for example london again and paris let's say add a place and also let's add a soul and now if i tap on each city each place you will see some details of course we have to change this uh, the color i think i made it mistake here so place detail so we have the deep purple not accent of course i made a mistake here so remove the accent and if i save it now i think it's the same as color so we have soul so if i go to paris you can see we have the paris and if i go to london you can see it's a london so also i'm gonna just remove this title center title to false to make it to the left side like this as you can see so that's all about it for this favorite places app if you want you can add more 
functionalities like you can add some storage local storage or you can also use the online storage like firebase or the local storage like hive or sql to so sqf Lite. but for now that's really simple app but we are using the river pod and we are using the best flutter practices so thank you very much and i will see you in the next videos